Hello YouTube, welcome to episode 17, Reality. So today, I had a big reality check in the sense of me at the gym because I tried my ma I pushed for my maxes today and I, I was really impressed, but some of them I was pretty sad about because I thought I could do more. One of the things I was sad about was my deadlift. I only did like 110 pounds. I probably could do like 150 or at least my body weight, 178, 180. But I didn't want to overexert myself as I don't ever really deadlift. And I think I'm going to try to incorporate that a little bit more in my workout routines so that I can at least get a total sum of a thousand pounds as that's my goal of movement from bench, squat and deadlift. And at the moment, if you look in this video, I did around 265, 260 bench. And then on my squat, I did about 300 to 315. And I'm pretty happy with those results. I feel like I've squatted more before in the past, but I'm definitely gonna push for 405. And I'm going to try to at least get to 275, maybe 315 on the bench within the next four to five months. So hopefully you guys are still tuning in for those. And then my deadlift, I will definitely have to just get my lower back stronger. Even when I did the squats, I felt it in my lower back more than my quads, strange enough, as when I do squats in my own gym, um, I use a Smith machine and that doesn't really work out your core, your back as much. And so I'm going to try to do more free weight um, squats without the Smith machine and do a lot of lower back exercises so that I can at least hold the, the weight in a, in a good position while moving my quads. Secondly, I also didn't sleep very much because I made the YouTube video last night pretty late and then I had to wake up early around 9, 9.30ish to go hit the gym and try out these maxes as that was the only time available for the, my roommate who spotted me at the time, who also works at the gym, uh, helped me out and gave me that opportunity. So shout out to Athletes United in Miami. Other than that, I just want a little sidetrack for today as I read a quote today that was pretty good, saying something such, such as, working on my boundaries, I can't be everything for, to everyone and nothing to myself. So remember that you guys come first, do what's best for you and not obviously help others, but not sacrifice something of your own to just make something happen for someone else. And if you have a goal or if you're doing something and someone tells you, hey, let's go on, let's go on this trip or something like that, even though you have something planned and you want to do something with that or you've been determined and you haven't stopped, don't let a little distraction like going on a two day vacation or spending even spending time with family um, really mess up your your flow of things and your determination and perseverance that you've been already incorporating for so long and don't let someone else take that away from you. Another quote that I found really good as well. Sorry, I'm a little I got a little quotes today. Everyone sees what you appear to be, few experience who you really are, saying such as on um, Instagram and everything is not really reality. It could look very good, but at the same time, um, you don't really know what's behind the screen. So I try to be as honest as possible when I'm talking to the camera as it's my self-reflections and I'm just trying to improve on myself and ideally someone learns how to improve their life as well on the way. Um, I caught myself looking at a lot of clothing since I've been making decent money with the stock market and the options I've been playing, and I don't know why. Um, I don't really need any of this stuff. I don't see why. I did buy a lot of uh, new workout gear, because I do work out a lot, and so you'll see me having a maybe a review or opening of all the clothes and stuff. I hope you enjoy that video in the upcoming week, as it should get shipped before Wednesday. And then um, some other things that I also bought were some bed sheets as I've had some bed sheets for too long and I think I need a change of scenery or at least a different feel, if you will. Hopefully I bought some nice ones. 
speaking of the clothing part is I've mentioned previously is like why buy it if you're not going to wear it that day and I see myself doing stupid things like adding things to cart I'm not really purchasing but I'm just looking at them so it's kind of like a very hard bad habit to get out of I love fashion and so I don't know maybe it's just an expensive hobby but hey it makes me feel good, you know, if you look good, you feel good, why not? But it's very expensive and it's not really worth it, unless you wear it multiple times. I've ha I have things that I've only probably worn once, which is why I wear these jackets <laughs> it's every, every other video. If you haven't noticed, I, I'm trying to just at least wear the things that I bought versus just look at them. As mentioned in the last video, Illusion, um, it's more of an illusion to me in my head thinking that I would wear them more often than I do and That's not a way to Really look at it as I, I Need to a reality check in my sense of buying things especially clothes Because it's not really beneficial to my pocket or or even my closet at this point so I don't and I can't really resell the majority of these things unless I take a a loss from the initial purchase of the actual product. The reality check during the gym was that I struggled a bit on 315 and I almost kind of fell forward. It was kind of scary actually. I, I didn't expect that. First time experiencing that. So I'm going to definitely not be, not be conservative but more alert and see what I need to focus to improve my strength all throughout my body versus just doing each body part and be overall strong versus just, hey, I could do a lot of biceps, but I can't deadlift. Reality can be very painful, hard, um, sad, but it also can be very happy, rewarding, inspiring, and it's all how what happens throughout your life that you come to terms with reality or you don't. As a young age for me, I came to terms with reality as when I was younger, my mom passed away. That made me realize that nothing really lasts forever. It kind of made me more in a sense like who gives a crap about anything mentality as nothing really stays and no one really remembers you. But I have slowly have turned that, I, that mentality into a different one. Now I'm trying to make it point where I will be remembered in some way, at least with my family, maybe through YouTube if I get a nice following. And these videos should be up forever unless YouTube gets shut down at some point, but I doubt it. And so I want to try to make my reality what I always fantasize um, and really put in that effort versus just thinking about it. And when you realize this and you start changing and you start getting out of your comfort zone of daydreaming, um, the reality becomes more enjoyable versus the facade that you make in your head. I get to see my progress and be proud of it. And I've, done, I've been doing things where people can't take away from what I've accomplished or say that I didn't do something rather than I actually did it alone or I did it by myself. And I feel really proud of that fact, more and more so than just looking the part. As I mentioned before, faking it till you make it doesn't really work. You can look like you're a million bucks, but in reality, you might not be. So you gotta you gotta really come to terms with what your reality looks like, and not what someone else's is. As even then, you can't even compare yourself to someone else's reality because they're living in a different realm than you are. You think differently, you eat differently, you speak differently. Everyone has a different personality, so everyone's reality is a little bit different. And it's all about perspective at the end of the day. I'm looking at this camera, you might be looking straight at a screen. It's completely different. So it's definitely all about perspective in a way, but your perspective matters the most. Make the best outcomes for your situation. Overall, I think my reality is getting better and better every day. And I think hopefully the people watching this, are their, their reality is getting better while they learn or be inspired to be the best version of themselves.
So I thank you for tuning in and watching episode 17. So like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for episode 18.